Welcome to Butcher Barbecue Videos. In this video, we're going to take a standard trimmed brisket all the way to a competition trimmed brisket. If you missed of how to get to this starting point of a trimmed brisket, go look up our video on how to trim a brisket. Now let's get started on the competition trimming. As we started with before, we had our packer brisket that we trimmed down and separated into a flat and into a point. Now, we're going to take it to the next step and show you how we trim it for our competition. We're going to start with the flat. By looking at the flat, this is where we like to pull our slices, right in this area. But there's a lot of sinew and connective tissue on the top. So we will go in and we're going to trim all this off so that our rubs will stick better. Let me get this done for you real quick. Now that we have the top cleaned off like I want, I'm going to shape it to where it'll work for our turn-in box. I use a standard 7-inch plastic ruler and I'll lay it across this brisket, finding the sweet spot where I want to trim it. That way we can remove what we do not need and that we will not be cooking. Looks to me like right in here will be my two favorite spots. I'm going to remove this here. And it's looking like right over here. I usually will leave just a little bit on both sides so that I can do a final trim if I don't like the edges. I will remove just a little bit more on this side. Now we've got a 7 inch brisket straight up and down. But I'm not finished with this. Now that we've got our 7 inch brisket straight up and down, we've got these sharp 90 degree angle corners. Most edges, once they're cooked, will peel off, break, come apart, and makes a bad presentation. So what we will do is I will take that angle away from it and round it off right now. Spin it around and do it again. By removing this, it will not dry out because there's not a pointed corner. So, you've got that beautiful round edge whenever the brisket is finished. Right here is our flat that we will cook in a competition. Let's get over to the decal, the point. Our point is as important as our slices. So let's spend a little time on trimming all excess fat off of this that is on the surface. Y'all watch this while I get started. So what we need to do is take some of the thick part off so it's the same thickness and gets done at the same time. But here's another little trick. One side of this point has a lot more marbling than this side. This side is leaner. It's on the outside. So if you're going to remove anything, remove it from this side so that it lays flatter. Don't remove the part that has all the marbling in it. Now, as you can see, this is really even and flat. You'll get a consistent cook from start to finish. Now you have both pieces of the brisket competition ready. You have your flat, you have your point. Let's get them injected, put some rub on them, get them in the cooker. Thank you for watching our competition brisket trim. Be sure to like our YouTube channel so you'll be aware of any new videos coming out. 